Now you've probably heard or even used the recolor panel in Adobe Illustrator, but do you truly understand the most powerful and the most useful functions it has to offer? If you want a four week course that takes you through an introduction into design, right the way through to setting up your first project, all while having a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with a seasoned professional, stay tuned to the very end of today's video and learn more about the brand new course by Springboard. Now to demonstrate the most powerful and important aspects of the recolor panel, I have here today one happy cat. Now a quick reminder when working on designs, we can press Command or Control H and this will hide the anchor points from view. So you can find the recolor panel icon here when you have objects selected or you can come into the drop down menu as well. So when you have the panel opened up, it might seem confusing and a bit hectic and you probably are right. But I'm going to take you through some of the most powerful and some of the most useful aspects of this tool today. Now what I do like right off the bat is to create a color group of my original design by clicking the folder icon here. Now Illustrator is going to save every single color that makes up my design into one area. And then I'm going to double click to edit the name. Now this panel allows you to modify and assign colors to your designs in wonderful ways. And one key feature is to make use of the color preset schemes. Now you can find them in the drop down tab here and there are quite a lot to choose from, from natural tones, you know, metallic food color options and so forth. But I'm going to go for an art style design for this cat. And as soon as you click a preset, Illustrator is going to take your baseline colors and adapt them to that color scheme. And so if you do like the look of the style you've gone for, you can go ahead and save that as another color group so you can come back to it later and make some changes or just compare it to other designs. So let's click back to the original color scheme for a moment. And notice here that we have all of the colors that make up my design. And if I want to pinpoint the colors origin on my design, I can click the magnifying glass icon and then hold down and click on each color. And that's gonna show me exactly where the color is on my design. Now I did make the original baseline color group, which I do think is always a great idea to do. But you can also use a tool to revert back to the original form of your design. So let's make some quick changes to demonstrate this function. And this time I'm going to use the edit function. Clicking the link icon means all of the spot sliders will move together, ultimately changing my entire color scheme of my design. And if you uncheck the link icon, you can work on individual colors one by one. So the changes have been made, however, I'm not too happy with how things turned out and I want to revert back to the original work. And to do that, you can just click the pipette tool. Okay, great. So let's now talk about something not many people actually talk about. And that is when using the recolor panel, you might see one or two warnings at the very bottom. And let me explain what these are. So the first warning is a web safe color warning. And you can see that with a cube icon. This first warning is pretty much outdated in modern era design. And essentially this warning is telling me that a specific color I have highlighted is not within the 216 colors used by browsers and monitors. Now before graphic cards and monitors were more and more advanced as they are today, this would have been an issue. But these days it's pretty much redundant. So you essentially don't have to worry about it. However, the second warning is slightly more relevant. Now you might see another warning below, which is the out of gamut warning. The previous warning was in relation to RGB or web-based colors. The second warning is based around CMYK or printing colors. So this warning is telling you that the printers cannot print the color because it's out of the gamut of the CMYK colors. Now, if you click to rectify this warning, Illustrator is going to apply the closest gamut color possible to your original color. Now, again, many printers these days will breeze past this warning, but it is something to keep in mind. There are a couple more really useful tips I want to share with you. And firstly, with your design selected, you can click this drop down tab and this is going to allow you to enter into color modes. Now these are useful, but the bottom choice is really useful because this allows for some interesting modifications. And we have sliders that are similar to Photoshop customizations, that being saturation, brightness, temperature and luminosity. This in of itself is really useful when you want to make quick and certain edits to an entire design. So yeah, it's quite fun to experiment with these and it's something not everybody knows about. So what about gradients you might be asking? They are still made up of colors after all. 
there is a neat way you can make use of the recolor panel in relation to gradients. Now heading into the recolor panel again, I can use the magnifying glass icon to locate the top blue of the gradient on the circles. Now that I know exactly which of these colors is that blue in the gradient, I can go ahead and make some changes to it. And as I do make these changes, I am actually able to make the changes across the entire design that uses that gradient. So as you can see, this is a fast way to make some very refined adjustments to a gradient across an entire design. And of course, I can do that to the bottom circles as well by identifying and changing a specific color. And sponsoring today's video is Springboard, which are giving you the chance to enroll in a course where you can actually pursue your design career. And you can learn directly from professionals on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Now, if you want to really grasp the design industry from the basics of UI and UX design, to things like sketching techniques, tips, the mindset that you need to have to succeed, and much, much more, this course can deliver all of that across a four week period. The details on each unit can be found here, as well as other information about the support team and also the expert mentor that you will be given during the four week course. So click the link below to enroll now because spots are filling up pretty quickly. Like and share my videos on social media and of course until next time guys, design your future today, peace.